And, you know, when I, when I moved out of Patterson, you know, um, I was taking down all of these pictures from the wall. I was like, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm here with, you know, uh, Paul, Paul Hogan, here with George Burns. I, mean, I said, why did, I'm putting these things in the box, and I'm saying, why did I have the need to, to be with these famous people? Mm -hmm. And I, it, it brought me back to my, my childhood. You remember Frankie Sweet Shop? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank Tedeschi. Yeah, this guy yeah. was a, this guy was, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But he was he was a hunchback. Back. Yeah. He was a short guy like, hunchback. Yep, yep. I remember and, Frankie uh, well. And I used to go there, you know, to, to, to get like a soda or whatever, an eclair or whatever we, we were drinking. Uh and I would look behind me and on that wall it was covered with pictures of Frank, right? Frankie? With like the most famous people of the time, you know, mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. It's like uh, you know David Jansen. I don't know if you remember that actor. I mean, people out there might remember him, David Jansen, uh, and you know all of these like you know the the Rat Pack. I'm saying, how the hell is this guy? This guy's from Patterson, where I'm from, and he's he's in these pictures where all these really famous people. So I have a feeling that that was kind of ingrained in me mm -hmm. from early on. That if you're from Patterson in the inner city. That you could make your way. Yeah. You could kind of, you know, yeah, make absolutely. your way out of there. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, and you I, did. Yeah. yeah. Hard, hard work, you know, keep yeah, plugging absolutely. along and saying, you know what, I'm not sticking around here. I'm yeah. going to go out and, you know, grab it and get it myself. And well, look, can we're, I tell you a quick story that, that kind of relates to this? Mm -hmm. uh, when I was studying acting, right, um, in, just in the very beginning, one day I come home, and I turn on the news, and uh, I, I just catch the tail end of this, this news segment. And uh, it, it was Crocodile Dundee 2. <laughs> and they were, they were casting for this, this big scene. They were casting extras for the big scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she was interviewing the casting director. But I didn't catch the casting director's name. And, but I caught her name. She says, this is Joyce Shank, you know, signing up, blah, 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 you know, in, in Long Island. I'm like, Joyce Shank, I said, and she was either from NBC or CBS, one of those major networks. So I, f I, f I got the number to, to the station. I called up, and I asked for Joyce Shank. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually there. Yeah. So she comes on the phone, and she goes, who's this? I said, well, my, my name is Federico Castelluccio. I'm, you know, I'm budding actor, and I saw a beautiful segment that you did yesterday, you know, flattering her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's like, which segment was that? I said, you know, with the, you were interviewing a casting director, but I didn't catch his name. She goes, oh, that's Ricardo Bertoni from Navarro Bertoni Casting. She goes, do you want his number? I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love his number. Same. Yeah, thank you. And uh, so she gives me his number, and so... <laughs> At the time, I knew that you needed a headshot, right? I didn't even have a headshot. So I got a headshot done, and it was like this very dramatic, you know, like one lighting and, you know, one sort of lighting and shadow on this side, long hair. It was like Vito's first realtor card. Yeah, probably. Yeah, exactly. Which, I, you know, I'm sure it was, right? You know, definitely very, was. very dramatic. So hey, we had to sell houses. I put whatever... You know, BS I had as a as a resume at the time, you know, mainly art stuff and, you know, whatever little, you know, acting I did or theater. So I had that on the resume and I, I decided I was just going to go in the city and cold call this guy, you know. And so I found the address and everything. And at the time, we obviously we didn't we didn't have cell, cell phones, phones. So there was a, a phone booth on the corner. <laughs> so I called the number.